All right, Gordy Post, we're going to talk about two principles, two things you can do better as a hitter to make yourself more consistent, to make yourself a tougher out against pitchers, to do the things that you want to do at the plate. And principle number one is all about time. You have to give yourself enough time to use the actions that you've created at the plate. You got to give yourself enough time to do this knee lift. You got to give yourself enough time to get this foot down. Because what I want to show you is that you're almost swinging before your foot even lands. So we talked earlier about the actions of a hitter, the stance. And you can see Matt Holliday here lifts up his knee. And you can see now he's going to take his stride. And as he takes his stride, he gets his front foot down. And you can see right there his front foot is landed. And look, hands are back. He hasn't started his swing before he lands. He has to land first, then swing. And now what he's going to do is he's going to plant this front foot completely on the ground. And now he begins to swing. And if you look, he's got a lot of time to make contact with that ball. That's because he understands how to use these actions. This knee lift, this stride, he knows how to use those to his advantage against any pitcher. All right. Now if you look on the left-hand side, we're going to get you to your knee lift. We're going to get you to your stride. And you're going to notice here, your foot is barely landing right here. Your foot's landing right here, and you're already beginning your swing. You're in a hurry. Okay? You can see, if we compare you and Matt Holiday at the same points, you can see how you've already begun your swing, and your hips have already started to rotate. That's right when your foot lands. When his foot lands, his hands are still back. All right? Then he plants his foot and gets his swing going. But you're in a hurry because you were late. You're late reading the picture, pitcher's actions and moves. And so look where this ball gets up on you. And you barely make contact because you had to rush to get to it. And when you have to rush, you're going to create a lot of flaws in your mechanics. So one thing that we're going to work on is time. Giving yourself enough time to do the actions, the knee lift and stride that you want to do.